Hi, I'm Nick from Canaweld, coming at you from the back of our production facility in Vaughan, Ontario today. Uh, and so, I wanted to show you guys, we got some new Moza 200s in. So you take a look, this is how they come in from the box, they're on a skid, these weigh about 123, 130 pounds. Uh, I took one out of the box for you guys, and I set it up. So this one, you can buy them either alone, where it's just the machine wrapped in these bars, or you can buy the deluxe package from us, which comes with this trolley that you attach, that you'll see as I move this around. Uh, the trolley attachment's pretty darn handy. 123 pounds isn't too, too heavy. I can pick it up myself, but having the wheels and the handles makes your life quite a bit easier. So I'm liking these quite a bit. So a little bit about this machine. This is a 200 amp engine driven stick welding machine. So you can see your controls for amperage are right here. There's your terminals where you plug them in. And that's about it, it's very simple. Down here, you have a 110 volt receptacle, so you can plug in your trouble light, your radio, your cordless drill, or your cordless drill, your corded drill, or whatever tools that you need, you can power it off there. Uh, you might notice that these are made in Italy, but let's take a look at this engine on the back. See how easy that is to wheel around? This engine on the back, as you can see, is a Honda GX270 series engine. Uh, Honda uses these engines on all sorts of stuff, from lawn equipment to water sports, all sorts of stuff. So if you buy one of these and you ever have to do some engine maintenance on them, maybe you need fuel lines or spark plugs, air filters, oil filters, whatever part it is you need, you don't have to order them from abroad. Or All you need to do is get down to your local Honda dealer and they're gonna have all these bits and pieces in stock and it's not gonna cost you a fortune. Um, I'm no mechanic myself, but I've done a lot of work on these engines lately because they're really easy to work on. It's pretty intuitive. You take a look at it, if you understand the basics, you can kind of figure out what's wrong and what's placed where on these engines when you're using them. Uh, right here is the gas tank. So when you're putting gas in this, you want to use at least 87 octane, but you don't need to use gold gas or anything like that. The gas tank has a three and a half hour, uh, three and a half hour life in it. So when you fill this thing up, you can weld for about three and a half hours. You might be saying that looks like an awfully small gas tank to get three and a half hours out of it, but these have an auto idle feature on them. So when the machine is running, it's gonna be running in a very low idle. And when you get ready and you're about to do some welding, you go and you strike your arc, that sends a signal to the engine to spool up its idle and give you that power that you need, burn that little bit of extra gas to get your current, and then as soon as you stop, the engine settles back down again. So that way it's just kind of always puttering and idling along when you're not welding, which helps gives you uh, a bit more, bit more fuel economy out of the machine. When it comes time to put some oil in this, here is your dipstick and your oil fill cap all in one. So these come like this. Here's your dipstick. And in the summertime, you want to be using 5W30 oil. In the wintertime, you want to be using 10W30. Nothing complicated, nothing fancy, no synthetic, no nothing like that. Your air filter in these is going to be right here. You can spin this off. Open it up, and there's your air filter. Basic, common, cheap, easy to do a replacement on. Uh, a lot of times if the machine isn't running good, that's clean your air filter first, and that's usually gonna be what the problem is. So uh, other than that, it's a pretty basic, sturdy, pretty light machine. Uh, there's no other 200 amp engine driven welders that are as light as this one. Most of the competition comes in at least 80, 90 pounds heavier. Uh, that's partly due in fact that these have a pull start on them and some of the competition has an electric start. The electric start is inherently heavy. I like to have the lighter machine myself. That's the whole point of having a portable machine. What's the point of a portable machine that's still 240 pounds? It doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, let's do a quick rundown on how to start these should you happen to buy one. So here you have your idle, right? All the way back here is fast, all the way over is slow. Here is your fuel control, and here is your choke. So if you wanted to start this up, on off switch is there, turn it to on, turn your fuel all the way on, turn the choke all the way to the left, have your idle in the middle. 
and you'll give it a pull or two. I'm not gonna do it now because I don't have any gas in this one because I'd like to sell it later today. As soon as you pull it once or twice, uh, the machine's gonna start up and when it starts up, it's gonna be in high idle mode. And it's gonna stay in high idle mode for maybe 15, 20 seconds. Let it run, let it sort itself out. You'll hear it eventually start to die down. When it starts to die down, flip this choke all the way over and then now you're set to start welding. So like I said, very easy, very simple, robust, light. Uh, and right now we have a great promotion on these so we're selling them for a really good price. Um, if anybody in the area would like to come down and check these out in person, come on down to our office at 155 Drumlin Circle, Unit 1. Uh, and if you're not too, too far around the GTA area, you can always call us uh, at our, on our phone number and book an appointment with me and I can bring one of these out to you know your farm, your ranch, your shop, wherever it is you're working and we can test it out together. I have a demo model of this so I don't mind getting it dirty and showing people exactly what it can do. So if you enjoyed this video today guys, please go ahead and subscribe down below. Make sure you give us a like and leave questions, comments, concerns. We love that kind of stuff. It helps drive our content. And if you're tech savvy, go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until I see you guys next week, stay safe out there and keep having a lot of fun. Thanks a lot.